Welcome to Mindless Pursuits Unreal Engine Marketplace review of the 50 plus vector particles pack from W3 Studios. The review date is March 12, 2016. The supported Unreal Engine builds for this set of particles is 4.5 through 4.10 and the Unreal Engine build used in this review is 4.10.4. The technical specifications for this particle pack is it's designed for the desktop, according to their website, well, according to their page, and there are 53 particle systems and 15 vector field textures in here. Of course, here's my testing rig specs. And let's see the particles in action. Now, they provided a sample map with their package. We'll open that up and take a look. So here is their sample package, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first point out a couple things. These folders here, Geometry, First Person, BP, and First Person, are all from the First Person project that I initiated, and the Maps folder and Vector Fields folder are specific to their package. Now, of course, my first complaint is I don't like when vendors can't put all their stuff on one, uh, one folder. Now. Mind you, I don't think it's the worst deal to have the map separate out because what you care about is vector fields, you can delete the maps. But nonetheless, I prefer when they're all in one, so I'm going to ding it just slightly for that. But the structure inside of it is all very good. Blueprints, they had a character in and that's in the demo. Uh, you know, the demo room stuff, materials, particles, textures, all that is in here. It's all very good. From an ease of use standpoint, I'm just going to drag this out here for a second. If you want to use a new particle, all you do is drag it into your scene wherever you want it, and it goes. Of course, you can play with the settings in the Detail tab. So, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And of course, there are things that you can change, things that you can. It varies by particle. And of course you can slow things down as well. So if we go to point one, our particles really slow down. At one, like this, and so on. If you double click, of course, then you can go into the particle editor. The name of which I've suddenly forgotten, I don't know why. Cascade, Cascade. And you can start making adjustments and everything here to alter the effects. So it's a good starting point and it's very easy to use. So I've built the lighting for this level, although now it's probably going to yell at me again because I put that in and took it out. But let's go ahead and let's uh, play and let's see how they look. Okay, good, it's not yelling at me. So, you can also see all these in their tutorial video, but I thought I would run through them quickly. Move myself up here a little bit. So you can see all the different ones. I'm not going to stop at all of them for very long. Color change, camera distance. Now you move back. I'm actually into another particle field, but you can see the color shift as you get into it. Dust Devil. There are a lot of columns and swirls, but the reality is I don't consider most of these to be that similar. That They have enough defining uh, features to them that they don't feel like they're the same thing. Personally, I really like that because I like the colors. Now, according to the page on the Unreal site for the marketplace for this, he built these as he was working on his own game, which is a real-time strategy game. So I'm kind of curious to see how these are used in the game. But lots of different things, fire effects and so on. Uh, you know, those make for a nice force field. I have to be honest, that's the reason why I got those ones was uh, I wanted something that would look like a force field. But the tornado is really cool. Flame shield, Nova, opposites, bendable. And I have no idea how much... Uh, you know, the video processing is going to screw with these, but hopefully not too much. 
But as you can see, we've got all these different ones. I'm going to speed up the pace a little bit now. Because again, you can look at them on his video. But different types, sprinkler, fountain. And there are some similarities when you get to different groups. But again, there, there's nothing wrong with that because you'll see different ways to implement the textures. We're going to go through the forest field here. Zoom. You know, things like the poison vent. Thaw. Froth. And just because I bought this for the... Uh, for the first field type effect there, it uh, doesn't mean that I don't have a zillion and one uses for these other things. So, we got Napalm, and you can see he's got attached to a guy burning. So, blueprint for that's in there, and as is an animation, actually. So you can take a look at that. So the sprinkler system. Geopole. Uh, Abitron is the game <laughs> that he built all these for. Swarm. Nucleus, which is incredibly bright. Conduit. Wave splash and so on. So you got all these different ones in here. They all look really, really good. I like them a lot. And as you saw, they're really easy to drop in and do stuff with. And you have to go in and play with all the individual settings, play with them in Cascade, in order to understand all the different things you can do with them. I, I won't pretend that I can do that. Um... Oh, that's interesting. I've never actually hit space in this before, but space is throwing out an effect. That's kind of cool. So, you can look at that and see it in use, I guess. Okay, so again, you've got all the different particles in here. You can take them out, you can play with them. It's all pretty nice. I'm going to show you really quick in that character. So here's the character. There's an animation blueprint for him. Uh, an animation sequence with them on fire. So, you, know, you can always attempt to reuse that if you want a character on fire. But the, the effects all look very, very good. I, I like them, and as I said, really easy to use. So, let's look at the website and the documentation. So first is the Unreal page. And this is really the only documentation you're going to get, which... You know, again, they're, they're particle effects. You can play with them. Pull them up in Cascade. It's all good. There are some questions people have asked and he's provided answers in a thread for. But I'm honest, I'm going to ding him on documentation on the website for two reasons. Or them, I should say. I don't know if it's a guy or girl or group or what. But <clears throat> uh, I'm going to ding him on documentation website for a couple reasons. One, they have a link for their website, which is fine. You know, the fact that their website goes to the site for his game is not a problem. As I said, he built these for his game. But if you're going to list the site for an asset, I think somewhere on your site you need to have a page or something for support for your asset. Support FAQ. Something that people who purchase your asset can go to. In his case, he's got the video up on YouTube, but then when people are asking questions or if people have concerns, they have to post them in the comments. And he ultimately gives procedures and stuff in an Unreal thread or a thread on the Unreal forums. And again, you know, you can go through and find that, but for me, as part of documentation, if you have things like that, you should actually put them into a page someplace that is specific for your product and not have people have to go digging through forums to find those answers but nonetheless if you're looking at picking up this pack I do suggest going into the comments on the Unreal page and finding that link to the forum thread because you'll find a lot more about it so with that said let's move on to the ratings so here are my ratings and I confess I kind of struggled with how to rate this because I, I buy particle packs like crazy. I think I own almost all of them that are in the marketplace. Because I, I don't do particle systems. I, I've played with Cascade, but I've never built a particle system from scratch. It's something I keep meaning to do. Uh, so I can understand how it works. Then maybe eventually make a tutorial for it if I get good enough at it to make it worthwhile. <clears throat> but... So what, what I have to judge by is, you know, what do I think it looks like? 
how easy is it to use uh, documentation, which is why the documentation was very important for me on this, to know if there are different things that are available or feasible with the product that you know you wouldn't just think about out of the box. The package organization, you know, that's how clean and organized everything is when it's installed into the project. And of course, the demonstration map. So here's the ratings. The asset ease of use, you drag something out there and it works. It's that simple. It's a particle system. So I give that a 10 out of 10. You can play with the settings. You can pull it up in Cascade. Really, it's all going to depend upon what you want to do with the particle effect and how skilled you are with Cascade. The asset visual quality, I give it an 8 out of 10. They're quite good. Uh, a lot of the particles are the same type of particle and the groupings are, you know, very similar. The, the, the mist and the thaw and the poison and things like that. You know, there, there are clump groups of them that are all very similar in terms of tonality, uh, the way the particles are. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I bought the pack. I, will, I can find a way to use almost everything in there. But it's not the highest visual quality particle systems I've ever seen. They're really good, but they aren't the highest. There weren't any extras in there. At least not that I'm aware of that I could find. So I'm going to mark that as not applicable because extras are just that extras. They shouldn't be part of your expectation for rating. The website and documentation, uh, you know, I said I was going to ding them and I am. It's 2 out of 10 for that for the fact that, you know, it goes to the Unreal page and you have to go digging through comments to find a link to the other useful information that you might want as the developer. Really, I know that they have a site for their game but adding one page that says hey you know you bought our our pack hey here's some information for it would be you know perfect and not having that having it go to a site that is just for their game i don't know i don't want to call it spammy because i don't think that's the right term because again they were built for the game but it just doesn't sit right with me either that you go there and there's nothing related specifically to the product that you've purchased the package organization, all very clean. Uh, I wasn't going to dig them that much for the fact that the maps were separate, but again, first rule for Keith is having everything uh, in as few folders as possible under one folder as the main one that you're going to add to someone's project. And then the demonstration maps, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. So I give them a 10 out of 10. They showed all the different variety. Uh, you could easily click on things and modify them. So that, that was great. And therefore, the final rating for the product is 7.6 out of 10, which is very good. Uh, you know, there, there are some things they could do that would pull up this rating if it were important. Uh, you know, this is just the one guy's opinion, so hopefully they're not going to worry about it too much. But, uh, you know, the website and documentation, if they could just get that page up on the website, that would pull it up quite a bit. Uh, if, I had, if they had a good page devoted to it, I probably would have given it an 8 out of 10. But... That's it. So the final rating, 7.6 out of 10. Again, very, very good. I would certainly recommend these to people looking for a particle system, and I would point them in the right direction of the thread. So if you like this review, please click on the like button. If you aren't currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Not only do we have reviews, but I have game development tutorials and other stuff on here as well. And, you know, lots of stuff to interest someone who's working on their games. But if you want to find more information on Mindless Pursuits, you can go to these links. And as always, I really want to thank you for all of your interest and support. I hope these are providing value to you, and I'm glad you stopped by to check them out. Take care.